Make it easy, old-fashioned cannelloni. They're large cylindrical shapes like tubes and you fill them up with uh, ricotta cheese, ground beef and bathe them with tomato sauce. When you go to Italy, the food there is so light and has not a lot of sugar like we used to, but it's very flavorful and we're going to do something very similar today. Fresh pasta from the store. That's right, that's my little secret. It turns out very delicate and delicious. The feeling for the cannelloni. I have about a pound and a half of fresh ricotta, which you can buy or you can make at home. It's really easy and the recipe is at the end of the video. I'm going to add two eggs. I previously browned about a pound and a half of ground beef with a small onion and two garlic cloves and then I let it cool. So once it's cool, you add it. Parmesan cheese and a quarter cup of fresh parsley, chopped small. Some salt and pepper. I have these fresh egg roll wrappers that I bought at any grocery store and that's what we're going to use for our cannelloni. We're going to roll them up like a taquito. Heaping tablespoon of our filling and we just roll them. And I have individual containers for each person. I put a little bit of the sauce underneath and then place my cannelloni. Isn't that cool? And they are so yummy. You can put in as little or as much. With a seam side, down. Make sure your cannelloni are totally submerged in the sauce because they need to cook, otherwise they will be crunchy. And then you sprinkle them with the mozzarella cheese or any cheese that you have on top and you bake it at 350 degrees. Mmm. Very good, Ian. Very good. Wow. That's very rich and tasty. You can use a stainless steel pot or a Dutch oven in a medium high heat. We're going to heat up four cups of milk, whole milk, not organic, regular whole milk, two cups of heavy cream, and one teaspoon of salt. And, one. and we're going to bring this into a boil. Stirring occasionally. After the milk starts to boil, you turn off the heat and you're going to add three tablespoons of really good wine vinegar. And stir gently and let it wait for about a minute and the curds are going to start forming. It's separating the curds from the whey like if I shake the pot you can see. See the liquid, the transparent liquid? Strain to my ricotta cheese carefully. Fresh homemade ricotta. Medium high heat. Once it's very hot how do you know it's hot? When you get your hand lower and it feels hot. About two tablespoons of olive oil. Two medium garlic cloves finely minced. I also have eight cups of fresh tomatoes. of tomato paste to remove the tomato skins and the seeds just make it go through a strainer tomato sauce needs to be a very watery consistency almost like hot cocoa like hot chocolate and this one as you can see it's kind of thick one cup of water maybe much better very loose like hot chocolate. 